Hey guys, it's Angela from CKC4 and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to come with a really quick video to show you guys this coffee table that I customized for my living room. Now I purchased this table from a furniture store and it was this ugly brown here. Well, it's not ugly, it just wasn't the color scheme that I was looking for. So I had told the owner that I was looking for a gold table and he volunteered to paint it. And as you can see, the paint job wasn't the best of quality, but luckily I did not pay more money to have it painted. And when I got it home, I just thought maybe I'll just gold leaf it to kind of match some other items in my living room. Um, and so that's what I did. Now I needed to remove these rubber pieces to get started. And those are the pieces that keeps the glass from scratching. And look at that, that, that um, mark there is from the glass. When they gave me the table, it wasn't dry. So when I put the glass on it, it rubbed the paint off. Now, go, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the, the table because it was a lot easier to work with individual pieces. And as you can see, it was real easy to disassemble. So yeah, here I laid out my pieces just to get ready for the gold leafing process. Now I am not going to go into a detail, detailed um, tutorial about the gold leafing only because I did another video recently with the gold leafing process in it and I kind of was a little detailed with that so if you're interested in knowing a little more go ahead and check out that video. So yeah um, it didn't take me very long to do these pieces. And it was a, a really fun project. So I'm done for the most part with the gold leafing. Now I need to fill out, fill in these holes here and I'm just gonna use some wood filler. And unfortunately I didn't have much left so I cut the container and I squeezed out what I could and I had just enough to complete this task. Yeah, and I used my fingers. It was just a lot easier than, I don't know, using a tool. Yeah, so I put it all in there and smooth it out as, as good as possible. Now this does not have to be perfect. Um, I kind of like the imperfections. It makes it look a bit more antique, antique-y I guess. So once I get all of that filled, I go ahead and sand it just to make sure it's smooth and ready for gold leaf. And I went ahead and put the gold leaf on both of these sections as you can see there and I also filled in any missing leaf around the table and then I sprayed it with sealer as you can see don't y'all like my outfit that is my um, I'm not really doing much this weekend outfit now these little squares here I found for at Home Depot and since I had to put the glass back on I needed to have something to protect it so I'm just gonna use four of these and I put it on um, the corners of each side and it worked out really good. Real easy to apply, just peel it and stick it. And once you're done with that, you know it's on securely, just go ahead and add the glass top back. And this thing was very heavy, but it was, I got it back in place um, with a few fingerprints. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. And I was also trying to get some of that paint off from the smudging but yeah this was a really fun project and it didn't take me too long um, and I, I'm really pleased with the results what do you guys think I hope you guys like it too um, you know I am not afraid to customize um, little items in my house or objects in my house even if I purchased it and it allows me to match up items in my house a little better so ho hopefully you guys can try something like this but that's all I have. So until next time, guys, take care.